Yo, it's your guy right here. I'm back with another video. All right, how y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? I like my hat. I like my hat. All right, so if you're new to the channel, make sure you like, you share, and subscribe. All right, we're almost there to 500. All right, let's get it. Let's keep it rolling. Damn, I'm excited. My bad. I had a little moment. All right. If you knew, if you already been rocking with your boy, all the British team, no excuses. Wait. All right, y'all. So, let's try to get this video to 1,000. 500 to 1,000 views. All right. I want to talk to the disability community. Alright, this is for y'all. Alright. Now, I made a video a while back. I deleted it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really get my point across like I want to. Like I wanted to. So, uh, here we go. So, this is going to love and disability. Alright. Now, um, I'm just going to pretty much give you my guys' input on it as well as what helps me, okay, because, you know, it's, it's love, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who doesn't want to be loved, in love, or love someone that loves them just as much as they love them? Like, who doesn't want that? Now... With that being said, there are events and things that happens in one's life to where it could be birth defects, uh, it could be an accident, it can be something that naturally come upon someone, right? And these things are what you call disability, whether it's uh, you're unable to see, hear or uh, feel you know you have trouble walking uh, you have trouble moving uh, whatever the case may be right so you got love and you got disability and um, you want to seek somebody you want to be in a relationship you want to be married right so based off my experience I'm going to give three of the tips that it works. I mean, at least for me, but it works. So hopefully it helps you as well. All right, so number one is confidence. Confidence. Now, this is something that I lack personally. I lack confidence. Not as in like performing and acting and you know being silly and you know what's up no like confidence within myself you know what i mean um me personally i don't like the way i look that's just me you know what i'm saying uh i ain't talking about like up here like you know with all the surgery that i had you know my body just i don't know i just don't like the way i look you know what i'm saying but you still have to have confidence because with confidence, it shows uh, that you sure of yourself. It shows that you are, uh, you know who you are. You know what I'm saying? And the fact that we go through it, what we go through makes us stronger. And for you to add confidence on top of that, come on, man. So confidence is something that is needed. And that go for uh, your high teens. You know what I'm saying? That go for the way you groom yourself. That go for the way you uh, walk or use a wheelchair. You know what I'm saying? You can just throw it on down. You know what I'm saying? The school out. You know, just whatever it is that you, that you go through from day to day, have confidence. Okay, because when people see that you have that, then people will become confident 
you know what I'm saying? In other words, they will become comfortable being around you. Which leads me, number two, comfortable. Now, with this, right, you have people that they've never been around, person that they're able, or they blind, unable to hear, unable to move around on their own like they want to. For them, it's like, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I don't know what to say. If I say this, it might be offended. If I say that, she might get offended. What, I, what, you, what we have to do, we have to make it comfortable for people that are around us. You know what I'm saying? That way it makes them comfortable and open up to you even more. That now that that's my that's that's my goal. That like that's my goal too. Like the confidence, you know, once I get past that, like that comfort, I'm I'm a one on that. I'm a one. Can't can't nobody ever tell me talking to me that you have not felt comfortable talking to me. Not one. Like, like, for real, for real. I say this because comfort, man, it's, it's something that uh, is very important because, like I said, everybody ain't strong enough to go through what we go through. And for us to go through what we go through, you know what I'm saying, it, show, it just shows how strong we are. It just shows how, um, how just strong of a human being that we really are. And for us to really just show, hey, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just like you, you know what I'm saying? Make them feel comfortable around you. So, for example, if you have, if you have, uh, let's see, let's say you can't hear, right? Make it comfortable for them. Teach them sign language. People love, people like to learn new things. Uh, go skating, go bowling, something, you know what I mean? Uh, if you can't, uh, see, play an instrument, sing, dance, something, you know what I mean? Like, make them feel comfortable, crack a joke, say something, you know what I mean? So, yeah, just make them feel comfortable around you. So, like, for example, you can say, uh, um, let me see. Oh, well, I know for a fact that if we can do this, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, make up something. I don't know. Just just make up something. You know. But make them make them feel comfortable around you. And last but not least, number three. Alright. I'm, I'm gonna do it like this, cause people be thinking I'm going out here. So I'm gonna do it like this. Number three. All right. So number three is be patient. Be patient. Now you gotta understand. They come into a world that they don't know about. They in a relationship. They trying to open up their mind to something new versus, you know, or they dealing with somebody that's able to be for themselves to versus someone that had some limitability to them. They limit to certain things, right? So for this for myself as well, being patient is very necessary because like I said, they don't really not, they not really sure what they get themselves into. They don't really know too much about it. You know what I'm saying? They got to look up the, you know, the medical situation. They got to learn about it. They got to see, they got the patient, to, you know, to be around it. But you might be, you might be moody. Let's just be honest. You might be moody, okay? One minute you like to be bothered, next minute, get away from me. You know what I mean? So, they got, they got to learn all that. So give them time to know what it is that they want. No matter how bad you want it, give them time to figure out what they want. 
But in the meantime, you need confidence. You need to show that uh, it's okay to be around them. Give them comfort. That's okay. Hey, yeah, I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying, hear anything, but guess what? I can teach you sign language. You know what I'm saying? I can do this. I can still do that. No, I can't see, but hey, I can still do this. I can still do that. No, I'm on a walker or I'm on a wheelchair, but guess what? I can do this and I can do that. We can do this together. We can do that together. Make them feel comfortable. Don't worry so much about who's going to like you, who's going to be with you. Just be yourself. You understand? That's all you can do is be yourself. That's it. That's it. It ain't no magic word. It ain't no magic trick. Just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, confidence, comfort, and patience. Be patient. Another thing, don't get your hopes up either. That's another thing. That's, that's another thing. Don't get your hopes up. You know what I'm saying? Just go with the flow. Because if you're going with the flow, you ain't expecting nothing. Nobody gets hurt. So just go with the flow. You understand? So, with that being said, I hope you guys like that. You know what I'm saying? Those, those will definitely help me out. Um, uh, just confidence, comfort, and patience. So those are some of the experience that I have learned through the years. And you know, and this and the best part about patient is disability, it, it had already taught you that. It had already taught you how to be patient with this situation, whatever you're dealing with. So because you have so much patience, you know how to handle certain situations when they come up. Because you already been prepped to be patient because that's, that's pretty much what disability is. It's, the, it's learning how to have discipline. If you don't have it, you're not going to make it too far. Alright? So, with that being said, like I said, we're trying to get this video to 1,000 views, 500 likes, or 200, 300, you know what I'm saying? I'm not very, I'm not very picky, but Y'all share this, man, because you never know who needs to hear this. So, um, but I know this video might be longer than usual, but it is what it is. So, anyway, I love you guys, man. Y'all continue to uh, support. We're going to continue to bring more contents, more funny, more inspired, uh, inspirational. Everything. Just everything. All right? Just, just. Get everything. You just never know on this channel. You just don't freaking know. You know, just stick around. Damn it. <laughs> so, with that being said, Team North Street's in the building. We're going to make excuses. We're going to make it happen. Ha! Peace. Mr. No Excuse. <laughs> what?